So I'm going to be using this two-part expanding foam to make a mold of the inside of the upper plenum. Got it at an angle here so I can pour the foam in, let it expand to fill the void, and that will become our plug. I'll be honest, I didn't film taking off the upper plenum because I was afraid it didn't work. But it turned out beautifully. So now I can start modeling the neck onto the back of the plenum. And make our carbon fiber mold. Here's a shot of the 2005-2006 Rev Up Lower Plenum. This foam section sitting in the middle represents the area that will be eliminated in the new upper plenum. Based on flow data from SG Motorsports, they found that the middle section really didn't do anything. So it should make the upper plenum stronger and lower plenum volume for a better throttle response. So here's an update on the plenum. The original foam mold has been perfected with some spackling. It's nice and easy to sand and it's really cheap. So it needs a little bit more finishing work once it's done. We'll paint it, wax it, and then apply some PVA release. Here we have two three and a half inch couplers, 190 degrees and 145. We've got them attached together so we can make a mold. We can attach it to the back of the plenum mold and make our one piece carbon fiber intake. Here we have the neck of the intake and the mold we took using the two silicone pieces. Turned out extremely well. Now we're going to attach it to the back of the plenum we're working on. So now we have the neck of our intake attached, and next time we'll smooth it in. Alright, so we have the front piece of the intake system that goes from the hole in the front bumper into the air box. Got it all taped up and ready to be molded, so we can make it better. So here we have our finished product, the mold for the upper plenum, including the extended neck up here to move the throttle body to a new location. We've got the ram air duct, so it's going to come in here, follow this tubing, which will be connected by silicone coupler, to our new air box. Back of the air box is going to sit a velocity stack to go to our 3 inch tubing. But it's that easy to make molds for parts. So, using an expanding foam, we filled in the part that was our sample, perfected it with some joint compound. Next, we'll paint it, cover it in a mold release, and start our carbon fiber work. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next week.